I find it very useful to know how audio waveforms look on an oscilloscope, as it often makes it easier to understand what modules are doing. Here we see a sine wave on the oscilloscope. The y-axis shows the amplitude or voltage level of the waveform, and the x-axis shows the frequency, or the voltage change over a slice of time. This is what it sounds like. When I turn down the volume, the amplitude or voltage level decreases. If I turn up the volume again, the opposite happens. When I increase the pitch of the sine wave oscillator, the frequency increases, so the waveform cycles get smaller. When I lower the pitch, the waveform stretches out again. If I decrease the pitch so much that we cannot hear the wave anymore, so that it's below audio range, we would have a sine wave LFO. Now let's look at a triangle wave. It has some edges and we can hear its sound being a little harsher than the sine, because it has harmonics or overtones. A sawtooth wave is even harsher. If we invert it, we get a ramp wave, which sounds basically the same, but behaves very differently when used as an LFO. Next up we have a square wave, which has evenly wide peaks and valleys. If I change the pulse width, however, we get a pulse wave with unevenly spaced peaks and valleys. Modulating the pulse width is a commonly used effect. Those were the basic waveforms you will find on many VCOs and LFO modules. Next, let's use a filter to shape the waveforms. This is a square wave through a low-pass filter. You can see that we get close to a sine wave because the filter removes the harmonics above its cutoff frequency. This is a square wave through a high pass filter. And this is through a band pass filter. Now let's have a look at a sine wave through a bit crusher effect. It creates a stepped waveform out of that smooth sine wave. Now let us mix some waves using a regular audio mixer. And now let us modulate some waves. This is a sine wave which is being modulated by another sine wave using a frequency modulation or FM input. Of course this is all just the tip of the iceberg. You can create even more complex wave shapes easily. So-called wavetable modules also come with a wide variety of pre-made waveforms that you can sometimes even morph between. You should get an oscilloscope yourself at some point and see what kind of waves you can come up with. My oscilloscope is an old one with a CRT monitor inside, which I got used from eBay. It's big, but it was cheap and does the job nicely. Conclusion Oscilloscopes are useful and a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.